Hi, welcome to this tutorial which I'm going to show you how we differentiate terms that contain square roots and terms that contain fractions of x, reciprocal functions. Well, any of these terms can be reduced down to the form ax to the power n, where a and n are constants. And it can be shown that to differentiate any of these terms, you get the result a n times x to the power n minus 1. In other words, you just multiply the power by the number in front of x and then reduce the power by 1. Now, in order to get any of these terms into this particular type, then we need to know the rules for indices. So let me just remind you if you've forgotten. What we have here is that the nth root of x can always be written as x to the power 1 over n, and the nth root of x to the power m can be written as x to the power m over n, and also 1 over x to the power n can be written as x to the power minus n. So, let's get cracking and see how this works for these examples. Now in the first one, what I've got to do is change the fourth root of x. And I can do that through this rule here. You'll see that the n is the 4, so I can write this part here as x to the power 1 quarter. So therefore, we have that the first term becomes 5 times x to the power a quarter. Now for the second term I've got minus 7 and that is being multiplied by the cube root of x squared. So I use this result here where n is the 3 and m is the 2. So I get that this becomes x to the power 2 thirds. So write that in as x to the power 2 thirds. And for the square root of x, I've got to go back to this rule again. For the square root of x, n is a 2. We haven't written the 2 here, but it's just understood that that would be a 2. So this becomes x to the power half. So write that in as plus x to the power a half. Now I have each of the terms in the form ax to the power n. And so I can carry on now and differentiate this. So therefore, what we've got is dy by dx is going to equal. So what we do is we multiply the power by the number at the front. So we have a quarter times five or five times a quarter. And that's going to be five quarters. And then we subtract one from the power. So that's going to be x to the minus three quarters. And if we do that similarly for the other two terms, we're going to have minus 14 over 3, reduce the power by 1, so it's x to the minus a third. And for the last term, remember that's a 1 there, so we have 1 times a half, which is a half, and reduce the power by 1, so it's x to the minus a half. Now, we need to simplify these terms because they've got negative powers in. You could leave it like that, but I must admit I prefer to simplify them. So for the first term, we can think of this as 5 quarters multiplied by x to the minus 3 quarters. Now x to the minus 3 quarters, we can use this idea here. n is 3 quarters, so this becomes 1 over x to the power 3 quarters. So I can just write that in as 1 over x to the power 3 quarters. And similarly, if I repeat this for the other two terms, I have minus 14 over 3 multiplied by 1 over x to the third. And the last term, a half multiplied by 1 over x to the power half. Tidying this up, I now multiply out the fractions. So I have 5 times 1, which is 5. And that will be over 4 times x to the 3 quarters. So that's 4x to the 3 quarters. And I can repeat that for these next two terms and get minus 14 over 3x to the power a third and plus 1 over 2x to the power half. And that brings us to the end of that particular question. 
Now, for the second one, what we can do is simplify each of these terms first of all by thinking of this first term here as 5 multiplied by 1 over x squared. And that's true for the next two terms. Think of this as minus 7 over 2 multiplied by 1 over x cubed. And for the last term, 5 thirds multiplied by 1 over the square root of x. And the square root of x is the same as x to the power half. So I'll write that in as x to the power a half. Now then, we can use the rule up here to express 1 over x squared as a power, a negative power. 1 over x squared is the same as x to the power minus 2. So we write this as 5x to the minus 2. And similarly, if I repeat that for the other two terms, we have minus 7 over 2 multiplied by x to the minus 3, and then 5 thirds times x to the minus a half. Each of these terms is now in the form ax to the power n, so I can now differentiate. So we'll have dy by dx equals, and in the usual way, 5 times minus 2 is minus 10, and then subtract 1 from the power, x to the minus 3. And then for this one, we get plus 7, 3 is 21, so that's 21 over 2. Reduce the power by 1, so that's x to the minus 4. And for this one, we have minus 5 over 6. Reduce the power by 1, so that's x to the minus 1 and a half. And we need to write that as minus 3 over 2 instead of 1 and a half. Now, we just need to tidy these terms up. Uh, minus 10 times x to the minus 3 is the same as minus 10 times 1 over x cubed. And that is using this particular result. And again, I can repeat that for the next two terms. So that's 21 over 2 multiplied by 1 over x to the power 4. And for the final term, minus 5 over 6 multiplied by 1 over x to the power 3 over 2. And if I multiply each of the fractions out, I get minus 10 over x cubed. And then for the second term, plus 21 over 2x to the power 4. And for the final term, minus 5 over 6x to the power 3 over 2. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial. And I hope you've been able to see now how you can differentiate square root terms and terms that have x in the denominator.